Yeah, yeah. Let's let him in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I get a haircut and I feel good, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, you look, you look yeah. too confident, bro. Oh, he's a whole look, new person. Look at that photo. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, round of applause. Woo. How's hey, it going? Yeah, sweating, bro. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I said that he already had you sweating with the compliments. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just... Sick shirt. Holy crap. Hey, hey, no, right, Matt? Hey, man. Hey. Super throwback. <laughs> Booty kisser. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we, we have a great episode today. But, man, what's up, dude? It's great to see you. It's been a very long time since... It's been oh, a minute, yeah. yeah. Let me see. Hold I up. don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. I just, just graduated, like, a couple months ago, so... Congrats. Congrats. I'm looking for work right now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How are you guys? Uh, well, you know what? I'll go first because, you know, I think <laughs> me and you are, have a very special relationship. You know, we're, we're supposed to do a lot of things, but, um, uh, you know, I've, I've been great. You know, uh, I think I speak for everybody where, you know, just feeling like a million bucks every day. Well, no, actually, no. You know, honestly, every day it's just getting hotter. It's like, when is this quarantine going to end? Um, we don't know what's happening, but you know, it's at least for me, it's one of those things which just like day to time, day to time, because who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow. 2020 has been a movie, so yeah, it's, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, no, same thing Lewis said, man. We, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, you know, just working, uh, seeing what else I could do during this quarantine because I mean, we're all pretty much stuck at home, and uh, yeah, man, uh, Dan, uh, Edward, go for it, man. Uh, ladies first, then. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's Edward. That's our friend Edward. Oh, that's uh, right, yeah. Jonathan, What's up? Introduce him, bro. And I'm How's Diana. it going? Yeah, that's our intern, Diana. She's been with us for, you know, a couple months. She's doing okay. I don't know if you remember. Nice. I yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he, he started sweating a little more when he said, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm doing good, you know. Day at a time trying to get more hours at work but that's about it <laughs> I, I like how nice. your answer was a combination of bruce's and, and mine <laughs> just blended in together well it's the same thing i think we're all kind of going through similar things <laughs> yeah. yeah i guess you know i guess you could say that what about you edward uh chilling waiting for school to start i recently graduated just like you um but i'm trying to get my credential right now to teach so, uh so yeah just waiting until that no jobs because all the teachings online so they don't really need <laughs> an assistant yeah. that's Man. cool this this episode I kind of sad dude it was like up here <laughs> and it just went like damn we ain't got no job I'm, i don't know what to do but you know let's let's bring it up i know we have a couple of questions for you um but, you know, again, feel free, like you just did, if you have questions for us, feel free to ask us. It's an A and B cool. type of thing. You know, we want the conversation to flow. So don't feel like you have to be like, I guess I just got to answer that questions. Feel free to ask us anything you want. Uh, right. But I know, I know Bruce <laughs> has, a, has a couple questions. So, uh, Bruce, if you want to take it away, man. Go ahead. I got a lot of questions. All right. Uh, well, first of all, man, or you say you just graduated. What are you doing right now at the time? Like, are you working? Are you just at home? You still at, at San Diego? Like, what, what's mm. your other? All right, so I'm in Los Angeles. I'm living at home again, dope, dope. Uh, not paying rent, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> pretty much just look, <laughs> just looking for work mainly. Uh, it's every day is a new rejection letter, so you know, that's awesome. But um, what I've started doing is more like freelance work. So like I've got some people reach out to me to do like logos and stuff like that. So been having meetings with different people, like people who want like freelance work basically and then yeah. I recently started making some like tutorial videos for people who want to learn graphic design so doing that on the side too yeah dope. yeah we actually saw oh, I saw uh your YouTube the, the what was it, illustrator right yeah, Adobe illustrator. time to get yeah. illustrated yeah yeah uh it was pretty cool uh what what inspired you to to start up the YouTube channel was it like the free time was it something that you've always wanted to like do or what's up was it couch potatoes <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, at my previous job on campus, uh, when everything went virtual, they were like, hey, we need segments or whatever to keep like, we worked at, I worked in a, an, an, an events department. So we did concerts and stuff. And they're like, we need to keep it coming. So we need virtual events. And they're like, how about we do a graphic design event? That'd be cool. So I did that. And then I did like a poster walkthrough. And then I was like, this is kind of dope. So I was like, might as well just do it again. But like for myself, because I have so much time. So, you know, I could like really put all my effort into it and edit it and stuff. So, yeah. And also couch potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like, I like that, that Yeah, I like that answer. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> So what, what's next uh, after Illustrator? Or are you already working on something for your next your next video? Yeah, I actually just started recording yesterday. It's going to be a Photoshop video. Um, learn how to like cut stuff out of the pictures and put them into other pictures and stuff. Like just covering the basics for now, but yeah. So, hey, do, do you have like a certain programs that you use for each of your projects? Or is it like uh, one program that you prefer the best out of out of all of them? It definitely depends. If I'm doing like hand-drawn illustrations, then I'll, I'll use like Procreate on, on the iPad. Uh, for vectors, like logos and stuff, I'll use Illustrator. And for like photo manipulation, I'll use Photoshop. And then for like posters and text-based things, I'll use InDesign. So like each one kind of has its own thing. Okay, so and then sometimes they have to overlap. Oh, dude. Um... Hey, y'all could y'all could jump in too. Y'all don't have to just you know. Right. Like, Man, I, I don't want <laughs> to interrupt the flow. You know, it was, it was going good. I don't want to interrupt. Wait, you. Bruce. Yeah. Did you learn anything from my video? I'm uh, I wasn't on the laptop. I was just watching it uh to, to you know do some little research on research. you. you know? <laughs> but but I hey, I'm definitely gonna check them out because as uh, these three know, I'm not the uh, I'm not tech savvy at all. You know, I'm a I'm a also. I don't really like technology. I'm always usually the ones who has uh, who has problems doing anything on the computer. So. Okay. I'm pretty sure watching your videos, I'm going I'm to learn a few things, you know. I'm going to try and uh, create my own little my own little things. For yeah, sure, I man. Wait. I can't wait for you to drop more videos, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't get to finish it because I have this problem where I'll listen to a podcast. I'll have a tutorial open. I'll have a whatever iMovie or the podcast or whatever I'm working on. So I like to do five things at once. But I think it's cool that you're doing that because, um, like, I've watched, you know, like, um, my main thing is like Photoshop or iMovie or, you know, Final Cut Pro, whatever, right? And editing. And it's cool to learn different things, but I think it's even cooler when somebody you know is kind of, it's like, it's because it feels like you're having a conversation with them. They're like, oh, let me help you out real quick. And this is it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm excited to, um, to see what more you got. I mean, are there, other than, um, you know, tutorials, are there any other potential, uh, things that you would like to you know in the near future do with your channel yeah i mean i'd love to just like talk about anything either like design trends or mm. even stuff like uh imposter syndrome which is like a real uh, thing i don't know if you guys are familiar with that like yeah. feeling <laughs> like you're not yep. good enough like everyone else around you so just stuff like that kind of kind of like mm. gets to you like you like mentally like i'd love to have a conversation about that you know what? It's funny that you bring that up. Um, and, you know, this will, this will be my last question for now, so I'll let everybody else talk. But I was curious, you know, as as a fellow designer, um, not really, you know, as somebody, you know, who works in the creative arts, how do you, like, I guess it's two-parter, so how do you know when, you know, it's done and you're, like, it's ready to go? And then the second part is what, uh, I don't know if you go through this, but are, are there moments where you're, like, you know what? Like you said, right, some type of imposter syndrome where you're like, ah, it's not good enough. I don't think I did a good enough job. Is this good enough to share with everybody, whether it's through YouTube or Instagram or, or a product, right, that you made for somebody? So, so yeah, you know, take that question and answer as much as you can because I know it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I feel that. Um, I feel like with time, you just kind of eventually you're just like, yeah, this looks, this looks done. And like, usually it'll be like that. And I'll look at it like two days later. I'm like, fuck, like yeah. I should have done this thing. And then like, I should have messed with that. But like, usually what I try to do it is like, just like when I'm, when I think I'm done with something, like show it to a few different people, mm. whether they have design background or not. And then they'll be like, yeah, I like it. Or like, why does that look like that? And then like, if you have to explain something too much, then that means that like, maybe you did something wrong. Uh, but yeah, 
Did that answer your question? Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> the thing is funny because I have a thing where I forget my own questions. But no, I think, yeah, you generally you <laughs> answered it. Because um, it reminds me because I know you and I did a photo shoot like, yeah. I'm gonna say four years ago, three years ago, maybe. It was like I think I was like gonna go to college, and yeah. that was like four years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So I remember you and your sis came over, and we did a photo shoot. And the crazy thing is, like, I have, I remember I t- at least for both of you in total, there was at least 400 pictures, photos in total that I took. And out of those, I took like a good 20 that I've touched, retouched, and edited. And you know, I think I feel good about it, but I still haven't posted them. But again, it's right. it's that thing of like. I don't know like is it is it good enough is it like does it look good or like but i think yeah i'm trying to get to a point where it's like i don't really care i'm just gonna put it out (laughs) um but obviously you know care in the sense that it for me it looks good to me and if somebody else critiques it then i'll take that and improve you know on the next project yeah i i feel like sometimes you just have to like even if you feel like it's like if you think it's good then honestly it's probably amazing so like (laughs) i (laughs) I, I think sometimes you just have to like trust your gut and like jump it, you know, and just like post or do whatever you want with it, and like just trust that like your creative eye works as well as you think it does. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you know what? So you just inspired me. So maybe those photos will come out this year, <laughs> next year, or maybe the year after that. But uh, nope. yeah. <laughs> but before I keep going, and I know Bruce has many more questions. Um, Diane or Edward, if you guys want to take the floor, you know, kind of dive into the conversation. Uh. Would you ever be down to do like a mural, like a spray can mural and all that, like somebody's wall? And yes, how, I've never, how would you wait, what's tackle that? that? Like, so, how would you tackle that? What would be different? Yeah, I've never done like paint before. I've done like like paint markers on like on the paper, but I've never done it like a mural. Uh, but what I've seen some artists do is that they like, do it online and then project it onto the wall Mm. and then kind of like like trace it basically which is probably what i would do because i wouldn't (laughs) trust myself with just a straight up uh, a spray paint but i would be down to do it if i had the opportunity and like 500 times to like practice beforehand you know just because i don't want to fuck it up couch potatoes mural that's your next job yeah that's what i was gonna say we already got somebody (laughs) lined up hey yo in your alleyway bro that was (laughs) <laughs> now they probably tag it up like the next day, bro. Like the worst spot to put it in. Let me see. Oh, just oh, just a heads up before we keep going. If this freezes, um, it's on me because my Wi-Fi is not great. Um, okay. But so far, so good. So just a heads up because it's happened a lot recently. All right. Yeah. But yeah. It also, uh, it also, when it freezes, uh, does it still record when we're like asking questions and talking to them? I I've never asked you that. No. So the thing is, because I'm recording it on my on my computer. Yeah. Uh, it records what I'm seeing. So you guys could be fine and talking, right? But okay. if my thing is, my screen is frozen, it's like, that's what I'm going to get. Okay. So if so, you did ask so a question, yeah, or I'll, if you do, I'll just ask you know, to, to ask you right. something. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, but anyways, uh, I did have another question uh, going back to the programs that you use. Are they, uh, are they free or do you, do you have to buy some of them or what's that? What's that? What's up with that? Yeah, so they're, I, I don't even know how much it is. It, it's it's a monthly subscription now, unless you have, like, the older Adobe models where they came in, like, the in the CD oh, or yeah. whatever. Um, but for my previous job, uh, they kind of gave it to us, and I still haven't logged out, so I'm just going to, like, keep using it until, like, they're like, wait, why is he still on here? <laughs> Hopefully they don't watch this. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't want to pay, like, 30 bucks a month to do yeah. that but if i mean I, I guess if i have to I, which is why i want to get a job because then they'll most likely <laughs> provide it for free because they're gonna find so, out sometime you're like i gotta i gotta start yeah <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be like 46 i'm be like why, the, why is this guy still here? <laughs> <laughs> okay and is that for all programs or is there certain programs they use that are free um so I, th- there are like alternate versions of like illustrator and photoshop i don't know the names but there are like free or like cheaper versions like one-time payment yeah. um and procreate for ipad is i think it's like four bucks or something maybe eight bucks i don't know uh but yeah there, there's some like cheaper alternatives cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope. i think you should include that on your youtube channel you know let people know like if you know something. actually they gotta, yeah if they gotta pay for a certain uh you know subscription or something let them know yeah. Uh, 
Wait, you guys, like I said, y'all, y'all could jump yeah, in. I was going to say, <laughs> if, if you add that, make sure to put, you know, inspired by cast potatoes, or, you know, host. You got you, it. You know, you got yeah, yeah. out real quick. Yeah, yeah. A little shout out, a little shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little flash, cast potatoes, and then boom, that's yeah. it. <laughs> um, Diana, do you have anything you're curious yeah, about? Yeah, before, you know, Bruce took over or whatever. Um, so, <laughs> um, have you ever thought of doing, like, animation or anything any kind of work like that um i've been using after effects a little bit which is like mm. where you animate like vectors that you make on illustrator so i have a little bit of experience like the time to get illustrated uh intro with like the mm. moving letters and stuff was on there which was really hard but also really like satisfying at the end after you watch it um but i have been wanting to do more like character animation like you know like drawing like layering and stuff like that so that like a thing moves in some certain way but I haven't like done it to an extent where I'm like gonna post it you know but I would love to do that let's make a movie <laughs> <laughs> no because I took a Pixar class and they kind of made us do something like that but it was in drawing format so you would draw the scenes out and everything and a lot of people did like that little flip book Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's kind of pretty cool, but I just figured, That's awesome. Yeah, if you were interested. What was your animation? Oh, it was pretty lame. It was bad. <laughs> I honestly don't remember it, but I know I had balloons and a person, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Stay in the class. <laughs> and I, I think for me, the, the most I've done with uh, any kind of animation is I used a program called Blender. I don't know if you've heard of it, Jonathan. I have, yeah, like the 3D modeling one. Yeah, I use that because I, I worked at the Science Center for a summer program that they have, and I had to help teach that class for two weeks. And so I had to actually learn my way, and the kids had to make a movie that was at least one minute long by the end of the week. So oh, I, had to, I had to learn a lot Damn. on that. And it was difficult. It was hard for me because the kids <laughs> asked me, like, hey, yo, how do you how do you make a volcano? I was like, hey, man, I'm learning with you right <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember they asked Just me be like you I'll, can't you can't make it volcano. Like <laughs> it's, it's impossible <laughs> and I, I i did something like that i reverted the, i reverted back some I'm, I'm the teacher i was like so they're like how do you make the volcano i was like hey man you gotta you gotta give it a few more tries and then i'll come help you and then i had to go to the teacher I was like hey, yo how do you make this volcano because that kid's asking me right now dude. i need to hey, i need to learn right now smart i like that yeah yeah but that's but it was it was tough. It was tough. So was it hard for you to? Because I think you said you're self-taught, right? For most of most of the programs, was it hard for you to catch on to each of the programs? Or did it become easier each time you learned a new program? Yeah. So I actually started at uh with with, with Wayney. You guys remember Wayney? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's um, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he had like an advertisement design class, and then that was where I like first use Photoshop and like we cut out some people from pictures to make different ads and stuff and I was like oh shit this is pretty cool like you get paid to like we just play around with this thing and then uh, I applied to college and then I got into UCSD as a computer science major because you know I don't know <laughs> I, just, I, I didn't know how difficult it was gonna be um, turns out it sucked like really bad and <laughs> Every, everybody was just like really mean in the comp side department like I remember staying like it was like one of like, the second projects and I was in the computer lab and like looking around for the TA and the TA would not help you like at all because like there's like complications with like copying code and stuff so then I would ask like my classmates and they'll be like they'll just either like ignore me and just pretend they didn't hear me or they'll just be like they 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 pretty much just didn't want to help me and it like sucked and I was like I don't want to do this so I was like I'm gonna get a job as a graphic designer because UCSD doesn't have like a solid graphic design program they just have like a general design program so I got a job as a designer where I learned more of InDesign and Illustrator and then picked up a major as a communi in communication a minor in design and a business minor and then got another job as a designer. So basically all my work is just like hands-on, like working experience, which I think is pretty cool. I got a couple of internships at some ad agencies too. So that, that was fun. So it was pretty difficult, like initially, like getting into college and like having a job as a designer without like having yeah. a lot of experience. But 
I had some really cool like supervisors and mentors who were like, here, let me walk you through this, you blah, blah, blah. And then just watch like a bunch of YouTube tutorials, which is mm. where I pretty much learned how to use yeah. everything. So now I'm like, I kind of want to give back and make my own YouTube tutorials too. And like, hopefully teach some, some people that, that want to learn, you know? And on your website, you had some that were kind of your favorite ones from certain events. Has that changed yeah. recently or have you or is it still the same? Yeah, so that was, yeah, from university centers where we did mostly concerts and stuff. I think I did do some some more interesting ones after that, so I might have to update my portfolio. <laughs> but the last one I did was the spring send-off one. I don't know if you saw that on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like the, the first one, yeah. But yeah. like, I, I, <laughs> I was in charge of doing all the branding and all the design work for it, but then the COVID happened like a month, like yeah. after I finished everything. And so they're like, we're not going to do it anymore. It's all going to be virtual. So like the stuff you did is, isn't usable. So I was like, I guess it's just a portfolio piece now. Cause yeah, I'm not going to use it, you know? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I'm curious. I wanted to follow up with uh, kind of with what Bruce said, right? So your beginnings, um, you know, just based off of personal experience, like, you know, there's some projects that, you know, passion is what drives it, even as difficult as it is, right. You keep going. Um, but I think a lot of the times, I think one of the main uh, hurdles to overcome is that learning curve. It's like just, okay, I had to sit down, and like I said, right, watch maybe two hours worth of YouTube tutorials, try it out. What is it that kept you going and, and you know, t telling yourself that, you know what, I, design is, or at least, you know, graphic design is designing or the creative arts is kind of the path that I want to go through. And if you did face a hurdle, what pushed you to kind of overcome that? Yeah, so when I first started noticing, I was like, this might be something I want to do is when I was in my band and I was like making like the, uh, the merch and like the, the, the CD covers and stuff. I was like, this is really fun. Uh, and, and then uh, I wanted to go to school for design or like advertisement design or something like that. But my parents were like, maybe you want to do something that like uh, makes more money, is more practical. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. Um, and then once I realized how like shitty the computer science department, I also respect anybody who can do <laughs> computer science because <laughs> this shit is difficult and like there's like a bunch of math involved. Yeah. Um, so shout out math. Once I man. realized that. <laughs> so once I realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do, I was like, "Fuck it!" Like everything's on the line. I'm just gonna do this from now. Like this yeah. is what I want to do, you know. So like that was kind of it. To like that made me realize that math is not for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wanted to ask, I'm curious, and you know, you don't have to answer this question because you know, whoever's watching this, you don't want to throw them the wrong way. But if you go back, right? If somebody said, hey, look, if you knew for sure graphic design, you know, um, working in the creative arts is what I want to do. Do you feel that, I guess, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, do I need to go to college for certain things? Do you feel, did you feel that school was necessary to kind of help you in that path? Or, or do you feel like it's, you know, it, it, if you want to, you can, but you don't really need it. I, I think, yeah, it, it, for design, it's like ma mainly based on experience and like the work mm -hmm. you produce. Yeah. But I don't think I could have been where I am today without like having to go through all that and like having to actually work for it instead of like, I don't know, maybe, like if I went to design school, obviously that would have been a really cool option for me. Yeah. Um, but like, as much as I wish I did go, I don't, like, regret not going. Like, I, I think where I'm at right now is, like, really good. And I feel like I learned enough, like, work experience-wise, like, to be okay. Like, doing freelance and stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, cool. See, for the young kids who are watching, go to school. Or else you end up like yeah. me. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I am going to school. Just a heads up to anybody who's watching. Um, before I keep going, any, you know, Edward or Diana or Bruce, any other questions you still also wanted to ask no i mean if you want to follow up keep following up with him bro keep going bro um i'm getting a bit shy dude i'm getting a... <laughs> <laughs> no um ah, damn it uh no okay no hey, uh, so <laughs> he's horrible <laughs> hey begging too long bro no, you, threw, you threw me off i was like oh gosh i got on nervous and shy um no actually my, my question was uh is there a dream collaboration you would love to have with its a company, a band, an, an artist, you know, or an actor, actress, you know, whatever? Is there a dream collab you want to do? 
I mean, Apple's freaking dope. Ooh, like, yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you been into their, well, not recently, but like in the <laughs> Apple store sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they have like on the wall, like they have like, like kind of like yeah. murals, but they're, they're like banners of like artists who use like mm-hmm. Procreate and stuff like yeah. that. And they like put their art up there. That would be so cool. Yeah. Apple, if you're listening, I mean, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I think them or like a collab with like a brush company would be like. There's this brush company called like True Grit Supply. They they make really really dope brushes that that I use like for everything. Um, I mean, if you want to collab, you know, if, if you're watching, <laughs> you wanna, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna be watching this. You know, yeah, it's yeah I think so. I think so. Yeah. You'll be good. Everyone watches this. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, see, when you said that, I don't know, your tone was a little, a little weird. You said everyone watches this. Yeah, if you meant Obviously, that, or, you know. Yeah, oh, I see, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll take it. You know, you're genuine. I get it. I, you mean it. I appreciate it. Yeah, that sarcastic can, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Bruce. Go ahead. Have, uh, talking about, you know, uh, you want to collab. So when people ask you, to do a certain project for them. Uh, I, I saw on your, on the Hugh, Hugh interview, that's how you say it, Hugh, oh, right? Yes, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that you, uh, you said that you usually like to uh, draw from their inspirations from either uh, their past work. Uh, how do you, what do you do to add like your own flavor to it so that it could stand out and be like, oh, that's from, that's from Jonathan Funes right there. Right, I, I actually, like with my like illustrations and stuff, like I've had people send me stuff or like point something out and they'll be like you made this or like like you made this right like they, they just kind of know that I made it yeah um or they'll be like oh this looks like something you would make and like I honestly don't know my own style but like <laughs> apparently like people like people kind of see it which is cool and I think usually for like my illustrations and stuff it's like I draw like really huge people and like mm-hmm. really like weird poses and stuff so yeah. that's kind of what I do um at least for illustrations uh I don't know. I, I feel like people see some sort of style that I have, but I don't know what it is. You don't know so I'm yet. just going to keep doing what I'm it. doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day you'll see it. You'll see it one day. I'll be like, oh shit, it was that. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. that one thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's, no, I was going to, no, I was going to jump in. It's because my thing kind of lags. So if it's just like silence on my part, yeah, yeah. Okay. my AT&T Wi Fi. Shout out to AT&T, you know. you're whack. Um, <laughs> Now, I wanted to ask, you know, what was it like? Because, you know, me, I'm a very narcissistic person. So if I get recognized for something, I'm going to act like I won an Oscar or whatever, right? So, you know, in, in, in my interest in film. But what was it like being recognized, you know, um, and getting that interview with Hugh? I mean, I, I mean, I would think that would be pretty cool, no? Yeah, it was super weird, like super random. Like, so they're like a pretty like new org on campus at, at UCSD, but like they're purely design based and like, I think they know my work from my poster work I did on campus. Mm-hmm. And so like, I, the, the design community at UCSD is like pretty small. Like I mentioned, like there isn't much of it there. So I think like everybody kind of knows each other in some way. So I think maybe they knew one of my friends or something, but it was really cool just to be like reached out <laughs> by, yeah. by, by this org and be like, hey, like we want to interview you and like ask you these questions and stuff. So. Honestly, I was like super honored and like really appreciative. And I honestly, I wish him like a lot of luck with this series because it's like really, really cool like to spread that information across UCSD. Yeah, and I'm sure it was it was an even greater feeling when you know you got hit up. Like, hey, you know, Cast Potatoes, we'd love to to have you on the show. Uh, you know, so honestly, sure- I, I, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for my invitation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm surprised it took this long. <laughs> oh. You know, we we kind of had to organize. You know, we had to improve. We wanted to we wanted to have you on the show. You know, once the show we we had an identity, we were moving forward. You know, because gotcha. in the beginning it was a it was a little bit of a struggle. You know, twenty five minutes of ahs and oohs and us and laughs for no exactly. reason, <laughs> but, and a lot of eating, a lot of eating too. Uh, but yeah, like you say, you know, you're on your journey you're trying to, um, because like I'll look when I look at your work, I can, it's gone to a point now where where I do recognize like, okay, that was, that was Jonathan. Like, I get it. Like, I see what you're doing, especially, you know, when you do the big people, shout out to big people. Um, <laughs> but 
damn, that threw me off. What was I saying before? Um, you said shout out big people. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you're talking about, Jonathan's words, bro. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. Identity. That's what I was saying. So, <laughs> do you feel that you'll always be on this path to kind of really, unless you already have, right, but on this path to really find your mark and identity and your design creativity or or do you think that there's going to be a pinnacle moment and you're like oh like this is me like when people see this they're going to know it's me yeah i feel like stuff like that like it always changes like i feel like as i grow and like develop as a person like mm -hmm. my shit's going to change too and this goes for anybody really like i i love the stuff i'm doing right now but like maybe like 20 years from now it's gonna be like completely different you know yeah so i i feel like i do feel like i have like a solid place of where i'm at right now but 10 years from now i'll hopefully develop and make something even better yeah um danit do you want to ask something else because we keep going but i don't know <laughs> i, I want to leave you out you got something you want to ask not me because this is exclusive he may never come back again because of the experience i just gave him i know <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe Jonathan skyrockets and he leaves us in the dust. Yeah, know? he's I like, I don't need them anymore. <laughs> or speak to my nah, agent. I'll bring yeah. you guys with me. <laughs> yeah, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask about your website because it looks yeah, pretty cool. Exactly. I really liked it. It's pretty fun to kind of go through it. I was just wondering, did you design or was it like through? Oh, you know, yeah. We kind of like, I don't know if you guys remember doing that or using that. Weebly, I think it was called. Oh, Weebly? Yeah. Oh, I remember Weebly. Or oh, Wix? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. For, um, I, I did have a Weebly site that I made with Wayne and it, it was garbage. But oh, like, I, this, <laughs> this, this new one, um, I'm using this program called Simplice and it's like for portfolios. And it uses WordPress and it's oh. template free. So like there's no template at all, mm -hmm. but there's no coding, which is nice. Um, <laughs> so basically you can make your portfolio look and feel however the fuck you want. I'm sorry if I'm cursing a lot. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse you're, on this No, show. you're fine. You're good. You're good, bro. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, he starts going so off. <laughs> you, <laughs> every, every other word. <laughs> <laughs> So basically you can create whatever you want, make it look however you want. So I was just like, I feel like I don't take myself that seriously, but I do take my work pretty seriously. So I was just like, how do I convey that into like a portfolio? I was like, just like throw shit on the table and just kind of feel like, oh, like pick this up and like, what is it? And then you click it and it's like a different page explaining what it is, you know? So that, that that's kind of what I was going for when I was making it. But thank you so much. It took like, like two months maybe mm -hmm. a little bit more to like actually get all of it together yeah, yeah no, pretty cool be unique <laughs> thank you you know what? i think that's a great point that you said and i might use that for myself you know i might say that i said it but you said you know that you you say you're portraying you know you don't want to take yourself too seriously but your work you know you want it to be seen as serious like it's a it's legit you know i think that's a proper word to use um because i think especially now in an era where everything is moving so fast and like you said if you have something you want to share you can share within the next five minutes as soon as it's done seconds actually um so i mean how how do you kind of i guess you want to say kind of create that discipline in which you know you don't want to take yourself too seriously right to the point where your work becomes a work um but at the same time you know, when you put out work, it's like, oh, like, this guy's for real. He's not messing around. I don't know if that makes sense. I know there's a lot of works in that question. Yeah. No, I, I got you. I feel like for me, at least in my experience, like, when I'm at work or if I'm working with a client or working on a project with somebody, we're just, like, messing around a lot. Like, yeah. just, like, talking. <laughs> we're, like, blasting music and shit, uh, laughing, telling jokes. But then, like, when it comes to, like, actually making the work, like, making sure that, like, it's, like, solid it looks good and you're actually dedicating time to working on it instead of like messing around the entire time but yeah I feel like just like having fun because I, I really enjoy just like designing so like no matter what I'm doing I'm always having a good time yeah. but yeah I feel like just like have fun with it and then make sure your work in the end is like really solid yeah no. so, talking about like uh projects that you've done uh, you have your own personal projects like doing the tote bag uh, the Mar oh, yeah, yeah. the martini shirt, right? With the with the hand on the jewelry. Yeah. Um, 
I saw that you did like uh, you drew yourself and I think you said your girlfriend on uh, a UK trip, a uh, New York trip. Like you have a bunch of stickers. Uh, do you have anything that's coming up next, like that you're working on at the moment? Yeah. So before like the pandemic and like Black Lives Matter and like everything just kind of like erupted in like June. Oh yeah. Um, I I was working on like a a new like long sleeve t-shirt thing that I was gonna work like. I was like pretty close to like sending it to print. Um, and then like all this stuff started happening. I was like, I'm going to wait, you know, I don't, don't want to be promoting my t-shirt when like, like a lot more like important stuff is happening in the world. Um, and then I was like, well, I guess I could do like a fundraiser, like raise money for like Black Lives Matter. And at the time, uh, Hurricane Amanda had hit at Salvador and like oh, yeah. nobody really knew about it. Like the media was barely covering it. So I was like, okay, might as well just help out with that. So like I restocked my totes because like a lot of people have like messaged me about them and then uh did that and then donated the money it raised like like just under like 400 dollars, and then awesome. sent that to, to each org which is really nice um so now the t-shirts are still on hold because it's summer and it's like really hot <laughs> uh, i don't want to make long sleeves right now i don't think anybody wants to wear a long sleeve <clears throat> but i think like my main project right now is just the, the time to get illustrated videos it came to mind now i because i know you said that <clears throat> when you thought when you're, you know, applying to schools and you know, your parents kind of, you know, like, Oh, you know, maybe you should do something. Like, well, I don't know. What's the word more uh, tangible. I think maybe that's the correct word. You know, something is something more, so I guess something safe. I think some people refer yeah, to it. Yeah. It's like something, well, I feel like, like the concept of like, like advertising and like graphic design is like, I feel like our, the older generation don't really like know yeah. what it is or how much it pays, but like lawyer, doctor, computer yeah. science you know like that stuff is like yeah that that's tried and true like we it know sounds that solid that. yeah it sounds like oh yeah. like yeah f- strong foundation um but yeah. if if you could go back uh to that moment when you're like trying to figure things out would you do it the same or would you be like you know what no like i i want to work with design i want to work with creative arts like this is what i'm going to do you're going to go with it or would you just you know leave things as they were I think what I would have done is I still would have applied to UCSD. I don't know if I would have applied as a computer science major, Um, (laughs) but uh, I would also have applied to like a design school, like a legit one, just so I could have that experience too. And then like, see if they don't want me, I'll be like, fine. I still have this other place that I can go to that I know will work out. So, I mean, I would, I would love to go to design school, but it just didn't happen, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I mean, you're here now. You're on the couch potatoes. So. Yeah. You made it. Oh, pretty, yeah. You made it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get bigger than this, man. It really doesn't. <laughs> uh, uh, what was I going to ask? Um, I guess, and that's a veer, um, a stray too far, you know, but I, I was curious, you know, you mentioned earlier, right? Like you had plans in place, like, you know, like specifically your shirt, but like you said, like it's, it feels like with the past couple months, everything kind of, just kind of blew up in, in the sense of a lot of things have been happening. A lot of things have been occurring. Um, how do you kind of, you know, as a young person, right? Cause I know we each, we've kind of discussed this before, you know, how we kind of handle things, but you know, what's been, uh, I guess the, I don't know if there's a better word, but what's been keeping you sane, you know, cause there's first, there's a lot of information that's coming out, right? There's one thing happening yeah. here, but then there's something happening here. And, you know, as a human, you kind of be like, you know, I want to give, as much as I can to everything, but it's like, it's not entirely possible, right? Because there's only so much one person can do. So what is it that's kind of keeping you, you know, level-headed and kind of, you know, still uh, having you looking forward to the next day, you know, maybe have a new project or, or just, you know, just kind of, I don't know what's the word. It's the word I'm looking for, but, you know, just kind of staying sane, you know, just being cool. Because, I mean, there's a lot that's going on. I know there's a lot of people going through a lot of stuff. Yeah, so I feel like usually what I do is like try not to go on social media as much as I used to because that's where like the bulk of like everything is like everyone's like, look, this is happening, but like, oh shit, like this is happening down here, and like, oh wait, oh that, and then you just kind of like it just messes with your like emotions and stuff. So like, usually I'll try to just like stay off of it as much as I can and like check it maybe like every two hours or so. Um, The other one is playing like animal crossing has been like really <laughs> calming yeah. like just like tending to my 
I don't know, to my island and like going to different islands and stuff and just like just just the getting away from yeah. it all for a little while is really nice. And then also like drawing and just like playing around and be like, oh like what should I do next or what should I do for my next video and stuff. So I think just like staying busy and like keeping your mind off of stuff is like it's good to do like for like emotional health and yeah. No, and I think it's cool they said that because it's funny because uh, I think was it one of our other guests, Chantel? She was on like what two, three episodes? She was also like, "Oh my bad, I was playing Animal Crossing." Cause she kind of forgot that we had to shoot. <laughs> oh wait, I don't know if she wanted me to say that. Well, whatever. But the thing is, but it's funny about <laughs> Animal Crossing. But no, it's I think it's cool that because I'm I've told Bruce, I don't know if I told Diana, but I've told him like their part of me wants to delete my social media, like everything, um, because it's like like I was telling Bruce like, bro, it's like. First off, like, it, I, th- I mean, it's cool to have because it keeps you updated with info. But on the other hand, it's like, why do I really have it, though? Like, I'm, like, there's a lot going on. Like, I remember recently, I was following, like, 500 people. Why? Like, I, I don't know, like, why. And it, now that I reduced it, it's, like, 200. But even now, I feel like it's too much. Um, so, yeah, I was something like, oh, I just might just stick with the couch potatoes thing. But but it's cool, you know, that to hear that you keep yourself busy. And I think it's important to to – anybody who's listening or watching that to find something, you know, it could be, you know, drawing, it could be animal crossing, it could be some form of activity. Cause yeah, man, like you said, if you let yourself kind of get sucked into just everything that's happening and, and sucked into it in, in, in a very unhealthy way, in the sense where it's just, you're letting it like overshadow everything. It's like, yeah, that can be bad for your, I think mental health, I would say. Yeah. But, yeah. um, oh, this happens a lot. Dan or Bruce, do you guys have questions? Because I, I have to rethink my... I have to think of it again. I lost it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, going back to your to your website, I saw that there was a, a dribble.com. Well, what is that? Is that to showcase the work that you've done or does it have, like, a, a, another purpose? Yeah, so that's basically, like, Instagram for designers, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's, like, invitation only, so it's, like, kind of exclusive. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so like I just go on there to like kind of I just use it like whenever I post something on Instagram I'll just post it on there and like usually like designers will be like hey look at this like branding project I'm doing like do you guys have any feedback and then some people will be like yeah it's cool but I don't have enough like followers or anything to get actual feedback I just get like bots who are like oh you get more followers if you click this link <laughs> so just stuff, stuff like that um so like I kind of don't use it that much but I, I i mainly just use it to like update like my my design work and i like instagram yeah that's cool yeah because i saw i had, had a lot of pictures a lot of your work and i was like i was like what is this and uh i had another question too uh about going back to to uh, uh your, your website on the work the phone image that you had um i saw that that you had like a uh, winter schnitzel uh, see my cane or something a lot is that also work that you've done that that you've done logos for or uh, advertising for yeah so when i was in uh, at ucsd i was in this club called ad wave and every year we would compete in the it's called like the national student advertising competition which is weird it's like a mm. competition for advertising <laughs> um and so our client last year was wiener schnitzel which was like not the most exciting <laughs> client um <laughs> hot dogs so like i don't know we, we 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 made it fun uh and then so i, I kind of we had to like make a case and stuff and like make all the graphics and lay all the text down so, so it's a lot of work for the for the production team which i was on um but yeah that, that one was really fun and then the simi came uh during the springtime of of uh, after the 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 student competition we usually like hit up like local companies in san diego and like do marketing work for them for free and this one guy had this product called the Simi Cane, which is a cane for people who are like visually impaired that like lights up at nighttime because uh, according to some studies like people who can't see don't want to go outside at nighttime because they're more likely to like get hit by cars or stuff yeah. like that or like bike riders. So he made a, a light up cane, which is really, really cool. Um, and I did the, the branding for it and some marketing stuff. Yeah. And which one has been your favorite so far that you've worked on from all those? 
I, I think my favorite one so far was the last one that I did. It's on my Instagram. It's called uh, Lil Fu Coffee. I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't think I saw that. <clears throat> but basically, it, it's, it's for a coffee shop or like a pop-up coffee place in, in yeah. LA. And the logo is like a spinoff of the MF Doom logo. But it says oh, Fu on it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that one. It was like, it didn't even feel like work to me. But like, I don't know. That, that, that one's my, my most recent and most favorite one that's cool i think i like the fact more that you said that it doesn't even feel like work for you, you know you just because you love doing it so much it's just fun bro that's yeah. cool i think my favorite one was the winter schnitzel just because of the did you guys create that slogan too like make it your meal yeah, yeah. Make, make this meal yours yeah so that was yeah, the like, that was our like <laughs> yeah that was our marketing it thing was yeah. the suitcase and in the suitcase there was uh the wieners, the mustard, ketchup, and then I had a bunch of condiments, and I was like, "That's pretty dope." I like, <laughs> yeah. I, okay, wait. They, they, for, so for the competition, uh, we printed out that that thing, the like poster. Yeah. And I have it in my room, and it's huge. It's like, it's like really big, and like I have it in there. Uh, I, don't, I don't have it hanging out. It's like rolled out, but like sometimes I'll just open it and look at it and be like, "Damn, this is good." Like, <laughs> it's like super detailed. Yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, yeah. I was like, did they did this for them? I was like, that's cool. Yeah. And would they? Uh, we we like, didn't end up. No, go for it. Go for it. We we didn't end up winning the competition. No, but like it was just fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, who won? Like, the, was theirs actually better? Like, from your from your opinion? No. No. <laughs> Every year, it's, 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 um, ours is always better. And for some reason, they never pick it. <laughs> but um, yeah, the the like ultimate winners because we we do like regionals and then like nationals so like the, the national winners was i think syracuse last year hey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my half alma mater i think that counts for something <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's funny do they ever give you feedback on like why yours wasn't chosen yeah so yeah this is like when we present there's like judges and then we give them our case book and then they like make notes in there and then at the end they give you like a score sheet and they'll be like oh like this 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 this, this. you didn't do this but you did this um that year so like the wow. the case was like about hot dogs in general and like how people think they're unhealthy and made out of like mm. the weird parts of like pigs and stuff uh and so our goal was to like change that or like the the, the brief said oh, like, change genius. that mentality yeah mm. yeah but then so we did it and we, we changed it for wiener schnitzel but the critique we got was like we asked you to change the entire hot dog industry not just wiener schnitzel what? and so we're like what the f like we're trying to help you <laughs> we're trying to help wiener schnitzel sell more hot dogs I, we, we don't care about like oscar meyer like fuck him like we're trying to help you but <laughs> we want you to sell we want to uplift you guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then we didn't win, so I don't know. <laughs> Man, what? Um, I wanted to ask uh, if you could do like a brief, because so, I've always been curious. You know, how did how did you guys start the band? Like, on, this is called City Waves, right? How what what was the you know the the genesis of it? Like, what if you could do like you know? I mean, you could go as long as you want, but you know, give us a brief summary of how it happened. You know, behind the scenes, what went down? Yeah. Um, do you remember Rashad? Owen? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. All right, so it was gonna be like the, the talent show at like at, at school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I I don't know if he reached out to me, or I don't know how, but some, somehow we ended up contacting each other. And I was like, I play drums. He plays guitar. My brother plays bass. And then he was like, I have a friend who plays guitar too. His name's Gene. It's like dope. Oh. And and uh, he introduced him to us. And then we all kind of just got in my garage and started playing just playing and then practicing and then eventually we got the song down and it was like the day of the talent show and then the, on the day of like Rashad just like completely backed out he was oh. just like I don't want to do it he's like I'm sorry like I don't even know why he didn't want to do it so that was then, true okay I, cause yeah. I, you because you heard stuff like because I didn't even yeah I didn't even talk to you then or because I, I knew there was a band performing but we had heard like oh dude something has happened this this and that I'm mm. like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Because wait, did you guys perform? Was it what? What talent show was it? Was it USC Idol? I think so. Yeah. Uh, you know, three-time winner. Whatever. Oh, but, you know, <laughs> no, yeah, I remember. Yes, you're so good. <laughs> I forgot about oh, contagious. I remember. 
guys. Not Good years. But, but yeah, you know, my bad. Continue with the stride sets. Yeah, because it's funny they brought that up because it, it was like a rumor, but I guess, you know, it was. I didn't true. know that. Nobody ever told me about it, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, so, so that happened. He's just like, no, I don't want to anymore. And we were just like pretty pissed because it was like, yeah. we were like next. And so we went up. Um, and then after that, we just kind of started playing together, just like the three of us. And then we played together as us versus them. If you guys remember that, I don't know if you do. Um, oh, then, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, I, I have my friend Brandy, who I played music with in middle school. We were both in the same music class, and she's like super dope guitarist, and she sings. So we were like, hey, do you want to join us? And then we made City Waves, and then from there we just started playing. And then eventually towards the end, Gene left the band, and then it was just uh, Brandy, me, and my brother. And then we just kind of stopped after, after like I went to school and stuff. Yeah. How would you guys go about like uh, booking the places? Yeah. Yeah, so at first, when we were like barely starting, we would do like pay to play, which was- Oh, like, okay, yeah. Where they would okay. give you like, here's like 30 tickets, like go sell them like 10 bucks each or whatever. And so we would have to sell a certain amount of tickets in order to play. And it sucked. It was like super annoying. Um, but then towards the end, when we were like City Waves, we got contact. We were contacted by this like small booking agency in like, I forget where it was, but it's somewhere, somewhere here in LA. And they were like, oh, like we want to like represent you guys. Um, but really, they, they just wanted us to record in their studio where they charged hourly. But we recorded in, in, in my garage where we just did it for free. Um, but they hooked us up with like a booking person that we would contact like, hey, like, do you have a show going on? And he's like, yeah, I'll put you on at this time, at this time. Like, you don't have to sell tickets, just tell people to come. So from there, it was just pretty easy. Why City Waves? Why, why that as a name? What inspired that name? Um, I don't even remember. I think it was like... <laughs> Something cheesy like oh we want to send our sound waves through the city or some oh. shit like that. it was really cheesy um but i mean in the end people were like into it so we're just like oh whatever we'll just keep it yeah i mean it worked yeah <laughs> it worked it, ca it caught on real quick that's for yeah. sure um damn it oh i got it hey bro with uh I, this so it's kind of a two-parter one is um what kind of because I know you said you put, kind of put music to the side, but you still jam out, right? So what kind of music would you say influenced you during, you know, that, that time of the band? And even now, right, when you're still playing and jamming out? And the second, what artists or what designers influence you now as a graphic designer? So, um, so back in the, I mean, I feel like I still listen to some of the same bands that I, that I used to listen to. So like Fiddler, uh, Surf Curse, like a lot of like DIY, like punk. Like oh, okay. Sound or like like surf punky, like Tawana Panthers. Um, and then nowadays it's more like like new wave, like eighties new wave, which is really cool. Uh, or like nineties hip hop, which I got into a lot. Um, and just like really anything, anything that just like sounds cool, I will like listen to it. But I'm sorry, I don't listen to country. <laughs> like I just fucking. I can't. <laughs> it's okay. It's an acquired taste. I feel you. Yeah, I can do it. But like anything else, like. I'm I'm down, you know. So like, <laughs> I'll, I'll use any of that to like, work with. And then for like designers, there's this one designer. Um, his name is Only Joke on Instagram. I don't know his real name, <laughs> but a lot of his work is like vibrant, like patterns and stuff. So like that, that's kind of where I get my stuff from. Mm -hmm. um, and there's like a few illustrators. Like there's like this lady called uh, her name is Haley Titman who does like illustrations of people and like, I'm just like, oh, like I like the color she's using or like the, the pose that the person's doing. So sometimes I use that to let us like influence or reference. Awesome. Uh, have you, oh, oh, I thought I was on mute. Um, I'm curious because what I noticed is, uh, I had a, no, what was his name? But uh, would you ever, or is it kind of like, eh, iffy? Because I know like there's a lot of, mainly street artists, right? But I feel like it's kind of, Kind of merging between design graphic design because you know access to so much now you know where like you kind of said right like a lot of it was you know just spray painting a real quick tag on a wall but now it's like you can project it and you can whatever design you can or you can have somebody do it for you and be like you know we collaborated on it has there ever been kind of like 
in itching to kind of uh are you familiar with banksy yeah <laughs> okay so are has you ever been like you know like maybe you know i can kind of i'm in the subway i can you know, do something in here or what is this, or is it kind of like ah, i don't know if i want to go that route i have never thought about it but now i probably will because <laughs> <laughs> i have like pain markers so like I just, oh like, okay yeah do something but like i've, I've never like really thought about it I, I do really like walking around and like looking at like street art and stuff so you know yeah. maybe one day i will do it you know and it's okay and if you get caught bro we'll bail you out it's okay thank you yeah <laughs> not that couch potatoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> um let's see how oh wow we're at an hour and 21 oh is that, yeah that went right really fast you know when it. you're having a good time time flies not me um <laughs> but before you know we kind of close this out uh dan or bruce do you have any final questions or uh jonathan do you have any questions for us or anything that you want us to know um no I, I mean i'm super appreciative you guys asked me to be on it on, on here this is like super fun honestly like i i miss seeing you guys on your couch and like talking and like <laughs> and I, I, wish, I wish it could be like that right now yeah, uh yeah. you know maybe in the future yeah, in the future we'll have you again in the future man in person yes. yeah <laughs> yeah and it, it's, it sucks too because um damn we work really hard because we just because we're still in the same spot but we moved and we actually fixed it up. We have mics, mic stands, actual couches. Yeah. So it's like, damn it, dude. But you know, again, like soon enough, hopefully, you know, we get back in there. <laughs> Gosh, so sad, man. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I just brought it. That no, it's it, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Bruce, Dan, any final questions, comments? Uh, no, nah, no final questions. I mean, he answered everything I had. Uh, you know, uh, thank you. We appreciate you, have, you know, making time to be on here, bro. We're glad you're doing fine. You're doing good. Keep on making your YouTube channels, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Keep on doing your work. You, you're doing thank good. You. You're doing cool. Thank you so much. I mean, Bye. same thing. Same <laughs> 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 But yeah, I mean, if you they, um, do think about doing the whole animation thing, maybe you can do it for the three bears, you know, for couch potatoes. That we can. Yeah. Just saying, yeah. just with that. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Collab. <laughs> you know, it's just, a, it's just a heads up. You know, our budget is uh, it's a little sad. But we'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but, um, but yeah, dude. Uh, like I always say, we appreciate you know, everybody who comes onto the show, but, you know, especially thank you, you know, for coming on. And like you said, it, it's cool to hear, like, you know, oh, I kind of, you know, was hoping they'd ask me. So it's awesome to hear that. You know, you can ask somebody and they'll be like, I guess I'll do it. You know, <laughs> it's a favor. But it's like, you know, it's cool to have the same, you know, somebody with, with the same desire and energy, you know, so it's dope. They took the time to do this. Um, is there anything, and, you know, we always make sure to plug in, you know, people's stuff in the description and our own Instagram, but anything you want to plug in, any projects that are coming soon that, you know, want to give a sneak preview of? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I guess my, my next uh, time to get illustrated video will be coming out hopefully next week. I'm planning for Wednesday, but we'll see with like editing and stuff. But yeah, I mean, if you want to learn how to cut stuff out on Photoshop, tune in. Definitely. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate your time uh man, you know as always shout out to kira costner shout out to zendaya shout out to scary pool party or alejandro um who else who, who else are we shouting out shout out to all the designers you know out there working your butts off right now in this time we're with you uh what else That's, oh shout out to angie rose music as always i think she's putting out new music or whatever none of these people are affiliated with us but you know maybe you never know oh, um paul rudd because i think he's really funny and i love him Hey, Paul Rudd. Yeah, Paul Rudd. You know, you're, you're the first person to do a shout out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, nobody I, ever nobody else. Yeah, nobody. Yeah. That's cool. See? Oh, my gosh. That's cool. I like that, yeah. Yeah. See, you, you know what? You're maybe top three guests, right? You just went to number one, bro. You just, yeah, you just, just went up there. Yeah, bro, it boosted you up. Yeah, oh you just God. that. You caught it. That's the thing, because I kind of say it, because I'm like, I wonder if the guest is, oh, you know, shout out to, but no one catches on. So it's like. Okay, but what else did I say? I'm sorry, I blanked out. Oh, stay fat with a PH and uh, God bless y'all. And thank you, Jonathan, for joining, man. Appreciate you. 
Thank we love you. y'all. Stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.